The digestive process starts in your mouth when you chew. Chewing breaks the food into pieces while saliva mixes with food. Once you begin swallowing, the process becomes automatic. Muscles in your esophagus propel food down to your stomach. A ring-like muscle called the lower esophageal sphincter relaxes and lets food pass into the stomach. The stomach produces enzymes and acids, and stomach muscles mix food and liquid with digestive juices. Then, the stomach slowly empties this semi-fluid composition called chyme into the first section of the small intestine called the duodenum. The pancreas makes enzymes and delivers them to the duodenum through small tubes called ducts. The liver makes a digestive juice called bile. And store it in the gallbladder. When you eat, your gallbladder squeezes bile through the ducts into your duodenum. The peristalsis actions of the small intestine mix food with digestive juices and push the mixture forward for further digestion. Water and essential nutrients pass through the small finger-like projections called villi into the bloodstream. As peristalsis continues, the waste products of the digestive process move into the large intestine. More water absorbs here. Bacteria in the large intestine helps break down remaining nutrients and materials. And changes the waste from the liquid into the stool. The stool moves into your rectum. The anus is the last part of the digestive tract. The anus is surrounded by sphincter muscles that are important in allowing control of stool.